Connor's Geometry, Lesson 1.1, Getting Started. Today we're going to present a bunch of vocabulary words that you are going to need to memorize and understand how to use in uh, the course of Honors Geometry. First is the point. Point is represented, represented, by a dot, so that would be, wait a minute, points have no size, only position. Points are named by a capital letter. So this would be point B. Next is a line. A line contains infinitely many points. It extends in both directions. And as represented by two letters with a line over it. So a N with a line over it, or N A with a line over it. It doesn't matter. If we look at this example here, you could, be, you could use V A with a line over it, A V, etc. The number line contain points. So there is a coordinate. called A, at 0. There's a coordinate called C, at 2, and so on. A segment is like a line with a beginning and an end. In the example below, AV is your segment. No arrows on the end. Or VA. You have the starting and ending points in the segment. A ray extends in one direction indefinitely. Example below is starting at A and extending all the way beyond V. So you can name this as either ray AN with an arrow like the shape of a ray, or you can name it as AV because your starting point has to be A, so A has to come first, and then the, um, it extends through whichever other point. This is the end point that needs to, to start the ray off. The angle is the union of two rays with common endpoints. So you see here, you could name this ray angle, and you usually use three letters. You could name it as angle R, S, Y, 
angle Y S R. You can name it as angle R S T, which is smaller. Angle T S Y. No matter what you do, the vertex angle has to be in the middle. That's where it changes direction. The rays are connected with the same common endpoint. So S would be your vertex point in this case. Over here, you can name it as angle QRV or angle VRQ or even angle 2 because 2 is in the center of that angle. The vertex point is the common endpoint of two rays that make an angle. All right, so what that means is S would be the vertex point, or over here, R would be the vertex point. Um, either way you look at it. A triangle is three segments that join together. As you can see here, you have seg you, have, you would have triangle X, B, Y. Doesn't matter where you start, you just have to go around in an order. But it would have three segments, segment X, B, segment B, Y, and segment XY, you can see all three segments join together to make the triangle. The union is designated by a U shape, and that means all together. The intersection is by like an N shape, and that means overlaps. So in this example here, we're asking you to look at Q is the intersection of Y. So if you look at the example, Q is 3, 6, 4, 5. Y is 2, 4, 6. So what numbers do they have overlapping? They both have a 6 and a 4. So the set would be 4 and 6 would be the overlapping. In the next example, Q Union Y, union meant all together, so you have to put all the numbers together. You do not have to repeat any of the numbers. So in this case, there's a 2, there's a 3, there's a 4, a 5, and a 6 to make the set. In a geometry example, you look at what you are creating. NW is a ray. So we have ray N to W. It's intersecting or overlapping WR. Well, WR is the segment W to R. So where are they overlapping? They're overlapping from N to W. And it ends at NW, so it would be segment NW. The next example has the same two things highlighted, but it's the union, which is all together. So all together, it's starting at R, and it's continuing all the way through W and beyond. So you would have just created ray R W. The third example says ray N X, so we'll highlight ray N to X. Intersects at T X. Ray T to X. Okay, well, where do these two intersect or overlap? They both start overlapping at N and go beyond. So this would be Ray N X would be the overlapping. The next one where it says the Ray N X union, which is all together T X, you put it together and you look at it. Well, they're all overlapping and we created all together T X and it's a ray because it goes beyond. Now let's put it all together. Example one, explain, name the line six ways. So we're looking at this line right here and we want to ex ex name it in six ways. 
So we got line P star. Arrows over the top of both of them. We have line PQ because it goes through PQ and beyond. So we use P twice. We also have Q to R, so line QR both ways. Or we could have said QP. So there's the two both for P. Or we could do it from R and we can say you have RQ or R. P, and we have the six ways of naming that line. Name segment PR two ways. Well, you can name it as PR with a bar over the top of it, or you can name it as RP. It doesn't matter which way you went. Naming a ray, on the other hand, is different. Name ray PR two ways. Well, you can name it as ray PR with an arrow overneath. Or, because Q is also on that line, you can name it as PQ because it still extends all the way through R. How many lines are shown? How many lines do you see here? Well, you see one line here, because it has arrows going both ways, and one line here. So there are two lines shown as this example. Name them as many ways as possible. Okay. Well, you can name them by using the letters. You can name this one by this little letter T. You can name this one by little letter S. All right. And then you could figure out how many you could name with the letters. There's a total of 14 possible. Number six, where do line X, Y, and R, Q intersect? Well, X, Y is this line right here and beyond. RQ is this line right here. Where do they intersect? They intersect at point Y. Seven, line XZ, XZ. So we're looking at line XZ. We want the intersection because it's the end shape. So intersection of line RQ, RQ. Well, where do these intersect? They intersect at point Y. Next, we have line X, Z intersecting at, ray, at line Y, Z. So Y, Z is here, but beyond. So that means it still keeps going beyond it. So they're intersecting the whole thing. They're, they're intersecting, creating that line X, Z. Or you can name it as X, Y with a line over it. No matter what, it's still a line. Nine, we're focusing on rays here. So we got ray Y, X. We got ray Y, X. And you got a union of Y, R. So union Y, R. So we go from Y to R. What are we creating here? We are creating an angle you see there and you can name the angle angle X Y R or angle R Y X where the vertex point is R. For the last example we go into some math calculations. You have the sides AB is X you have the side BC is 2x and the side AC is x plus 6. It also tells you that the perimeter equals 26. Well, if you know from pre previous knowledge, perimeter means you add up all the sides. Well, so you can take side AB, which is x, add 2x to it, add the x plus 6, that is the perimeter, and you could set it equal to 26. You solve this by getting 4x plus 6 equal to 26. Subtract the 6 over, so 4x equals 20, divide by 4, x ends up equaling 5, which helps you because you want to find the length of AC. Well, AC is here. AC is also x plus 6, so you can plug it back into x plus 6, and that's 5 plus 6, so AC ends up equaling 11. And there is your unit on 1.1, getting started in honors geometry.